Today we'll be making hard candy without corn syrup. For this recipe, you'll need castor sugar, a flavor extract of your choice, a corresponding food coloring, and icing sugar. And if you're new here, I'm Maggie. This is No Frills Kitchen, where I teach you how to cook with confidence with nothing fancy required. Begin by adding some castor sugar to a saucepan. I recommend using castor sugar over granulated sugar because it dissolves more easily. Pour over a bit of water and set over medium-low heat. With a silicone spatula, stir the sugar until it has completely dissolved and ensure it doesn't come to a boil before it is dissolved. If you're worried that the mixture is coming to a boil too quickly, then feel free to periodically remove it from the heat if it's getting too hot before the sugar is dissolved. Once the sugar is dissolved, you can allow the mixture to come to a boil. Wash down the sides of the pan to get rid of any errant sugar crystals that may have collected on the sides. You can do this by dipping a pastry brush in cool water and then brushing it on the sides. Why so many recipes call for corn syrup is that it's far more forgiving to use liquid sugar as it prevents the formation of sugar crystals in your syrup, which makes it virtually impossible for the mixture to seize. However, if you ensure the syrup is completely dissolved before the syrup begins to boil, this eliminates the need for corn syrup altogether. This is what I do in virtually all of my homemade candy recipes. So as soon as the mixture is boiling, it's important to stop stirring altogether. Simply allow the syrup to boil, checking the temperature of the mixture periodically with an instant read thermometer or a candy thermometer. When the mixture reaches 150 degrees Celsius or 300 Fahrenheit, remove it from the heat. Then stir in some flavor extract of your choice. I use lemon extract here, and then a few drops of corresponding food coloring. I find liquid food coloring works better than gel in this instance as it incorporates more easily. Use a skewer to stir in the extract and food coloring. Don't use a spoon or spatula because the agitation can cause the mixture to crystallize. Next, pour the sugar syrup into a baking dish that has been lined with parchment paper. Ensure that it's all settling into an even layer. Then dust the top of the candy with some icing sugar. The icing sugar will give the finished hard candy a dusty frosted look, like something you could find in an old fashioned candy shop. Allow the candy to set and cool completely. This should take about 15 minutes or so. Once the candy has hardened, use a wooden spoon to gently whack the slab of the candy to break it into bite-sized pieces. And that's it. If you liked this recipe, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next videos. Enjoy.